In this episode of Down the Road We Go, we finally leave Yuma and head off to Benson, Arizona. Along the way, we'll get some staples pulled and the dash cam will come in real handy. So come along for the ride as Down the Road We Go. Okay. Oh, there's Shirley. Okay, we're set. We're getting ready to uh, pull out of our spot, so here we go. We interrupt this regularly scheduled departure so that Dave can have the staples taken out of his head. Uh, and here we are to preparing the staple removal party. <laughs> I don't know much about this. Shirley seems ready. She got her glove on. You, do you have deadening? Right here. I got the... Aura gel? Aura gel. I hope that hurt. It works on heads. It should work on anything. Okay. Instant pain relief. We're waiting for Ray, the cameraman, to come over here. Yep. Ow! Oh. <laughs> you done under it. kick your butt. We do have the secondary filter on to keep the glare down, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and that was why I don't want to participate. What? I heard him yell. Oh, he just... Of course, it was right around this time that the microphone decided to give up the ghost and not record anything except for static. So I guess I'll have to fill in and just give you a blow by blow. Ooh, ow, ooh, that hurts. Oh, ooh, pull it quick. Ooh, ow, ooh. <laughs> it didn't really hurt that bad. Uh, she put some orange gel on it. In fact, it felt a lot better than when they put them in. There was no uh, deadening of the area at all when the doctor put them in. So this wasn't too bad. And uh, we continued on from there. We now continue with our regularly scheduled video of departure of Yuma, Arizona. <laughs> Thanks for coming along for the pain. Okay, got it hooked up, got it out of the spot, put some air in the hitch. We're ready to go. Heading to Benson, Arizona. Down, Down the, the road, road we, we go. go. On a cold, chilly morning yep. in Arizona. Into the sun. At least it's up high enough. Are they? They're ready. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, we're coming up on a Border Patrol inspection station, but as it turned out, it's closed. So I guess we're legal and we're going to keep going east on I-8. This is the Fortuna or Foothill area of Yuma, and there's, uh, if you go back uh, west from here, there's just <laughs> all kinds of RV resorts and RV campgrounds. So you should have your pick of any place you want to go. So on we go east. Okay, we're gonna go out here and check the air pressures. Actually, we're, 
actually what we're going to do is check the temperature and that'll tell us more than the pressure. It could have the right pressure in it, but if, it, if it's hot, something's wrong with the tire. So what we got is this here. Yeah, we'll get down here. Yeah, that's 83. 84. Perfect. If they're not with, you know, if they're out of specs by about five or six pounds or more, then there's problems. If they're three or four pounds close together, then we're doing good. We got 94 on this side because this is the sunny side. And 93. Absolutely perfect. We'll also go ahead and take a quick look at them. Any bulges or anything. You don't smell anything hot. Okay, let's go back to the other side and look around. Okay, don't really see anything. Look, they look pretty good. So, we shoot the trushes. We never have any problem with them, but nice and cool. A little warmer in the front because they take a lot of there's a lot of pressure on the front ones. Both pretty good though. Both about the same. Yep, looking good. Okay. So we can take a walk around and relax a little bit, then we'll be back on the road. Boy, the scenery is beautiful here. Like I said, this is exit 55 going east on I-8. We're heading towards Tucson. We'll pick up 10 and then head down to Benson from there. So there we go. Okay, we're coming up on our exit, about a mile and a half. Take exit 178A off of 80 or off of 8 I 8 East onto I 10 East towards Tucson. In one mile, continue straight to exit 178A I 10 East Tucson.
Yesterday we followed the road of the moon. We drove all day towards the coast. It remembered me the beauty of this life. Such a feeling to be alive. A salty breeze in my lungs. And back to where I'm from. A salty breeze. And this is why you should always have a dash cam uh, recording while you drive, especially on the interstates. This guy come flying on the interstate with no clue that anybody was there, especially me. I was right next to a semi to my left, had nowhere to go, had to just jam on the brakes. Of course, I gave him the horn, which uh, basically woke him up. Then as he sped off down the interstate, uh, the truckers were talking about him cutting. He cut off two trucks and an RV and another car. Make sure you've got a good dash cam. In our next episode of Down the Road We Go, we go back to Tucson and spend a day at the Pima Air Museum. So come along for the ride as Down the Road We Go. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. If you're new to our channel or you just want to make sure you see all our videos, Make sure you click the little subscribe button on our logo and make sure also you ring the little bell and that way YouTube will notify you whenever we put up a new video. So thanks for coming along for the ride as down the road we go.